in Vancouver, when I lived in Vancouver, never saw a ghost, but definitely feel I had interactions where, you know, when you can just feel like somebody's there. No, but I have been in the house. It was actually a theater that I um, uh, did a play in a number of years ago out in Vancouver. And the theater uh, was the Stanley in Vancouver, the Arts Club. And I was told that there was a ghost of an old woman that haunted the theater. I think I felt a, an odd energy, an odd presence. I think I've been in rooms and places where odd energy and an odd presence may have existed or currently did exist. There was one haunted night where everyone in my house felt this presence. And I never saw her, but I did hear things one night. We were in 10 out of 12s, which means we were in very, very long days tacking just before we opened, so we were doing the lights and, and everything else. And there was a silence, we were all on a break, and I came back up to the stage, and uh, I was just sort of getting a few props organized, and I heard a tapping sound. Like I said, I've been in environments where I believe, honestly, the energy was toxic or odd because something had happened there previously and you, and you can't get away from that sensation. My current apartment is rather small and but my girlfriend and I both agree we feel that there's something negative happened there not too long ago because we feel a negativity washing over us and we're really happy to move. You suddenly were lying down and you felt like someone had just gotten in the bed and you turn around and no one's there and the doors were opening and closing and you could hear people going down the stairs. It was a weird night. It was a very weird night. It sounded like a, a tapping on metal. And it didn't freak me out, it didn't scare me, I didn't feel like I wasn't uh, safe, but I knew that there was something other than me in the room. That space got saturated with negative energy in a really quick and awful moment, whether it be like someone cut a finger off or just had a revelation. It, it's left it's left a negativity there that lingers whether you're positive or not. It takes a few days, you can't just pop in and feel it. After a couple of days you realize you just something's pulling you down a little bit. And if you're, if you're into it, um, burn sage, a, a, a thing of sage is a native custom. It, it's supposedly, it's called brushing. It, it cleanses um, a room. Smudging is also what it's called. Smudging, right, smudging, right, smudging. Right. We're going to do that in our new space. They're very inexpensive to buy and it's fine. It smells like sage. I don't believe all ghosts are mean. Just some. Just some. This one wasn't mean, just tricky. 